Good morning, everybody. It's Gina. Today's Wednesday, and I am off to my very first day at my new assignment. And here's what I'm taking with me or eating for breakfast. Okay, I'm cooking me an egg on the stove top. I am making me a piece of toast, the Sara Lee 45. I had one of these bananas last night that looks so overripe with a little bit of chocolate milk, blended it up in the blender, let it freeze in the freezer, it tasted just like ice cream. It was pretty good. And I ended up a little bit less weight this morning. So this is what I'm taking. I'm taking two bottles of water, a cup of ice, my cup of coffee. I made me a wrap with chicken and a little bit of cheese on it. I have some grapes. And way down in there is some uh, grits with one turkey meatball in it, a spoon, and two K-cups. I'm hoping they have a Keurig. If they don't, I'll go with a cup of coffee. And if they don't, I will have to come home, um, not that my kitchen is all that clean, and get me a cup of coffee because I live right around the corner from my new job. Oh. I gotta say I'm a little nervous at the amount of things on my plate and this is only day one because I still have to do my job, which granted I only work for the church for 20 hours a week, um, but that's 20 hours a week extra. And then this position for six weeks is full time and also above and beyond that, I have committed to a new uh, collaboration that starts September 1st on my channel. I'm in the middle of my declutter series so I still have to come up with those two videos and my dailies if I do dailies. Now granted I'm going to be like if they're short and sweet I might combine a few days but I do know that this is what keeps me on track so I'm going to try my best to share my days with you even when I'm working uh, maybe I'll go for a walk and talk to you like Julie does every now and then. And if you don't know who Julie is, I'll have her linked below just so you can go find her. She's not only a successful weight loss person on Weight Watchers, she's also a Weight Watcher employee. And an employee of somewhere else that everybody loves. <laughs> okay, enough about Julie. Hi, Julie. You know that Gina loves you. And um, I'm going to eat my egg and head off to work, and I'll catch you in a bit. Dang it. Broke my egg yolk. Was in a little bit of a hurry. That's not going to be a sign of how my day is going to go. I'm home. First day. I'm exhausted. Okay, so my boss, if you will, the person who's my supervisor while I'm at the school, district. I need to say I'm at the district, not at a school site this time. Um, she, it was break time and she said, uh, she, I saw that she had like what I thought was a Fitbit on. I was like, oh, do you walk? And she said, yeah, I'm going right now. She looked down at her shoes and she showed me that she had socks and tennis shoes on. She'd put them on with her clothes. And she said, um, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, I think I'll be all right. Well, I had flats on. Clark's very comfortable, well-made shoes. Yeah, remember, and if you don't remember, you need to go back and watch this episode, and that's really all I'm going to say. I will link it below, but remember the whole episode when my car broke down and the blisters on my feet? Yeah, that's really all I'm going to say about it. Okay, this woman, I'm thinking we're going to go walk around the school district. No. No. That's not what we did. She takes me down the street kind of outside of the, one side of the school. And so we get to the edge of the school, which isn't even really the edge of the school district. It's past, would you say, like five or six houses, Dad, down to a city block. And I think, oh, okay, so we're going to just, it's a little bit farther, but oh, well, there really wasn't anywhere else to go but there. So she turns left and I think, okay, we're at the edge of the school district. We're going to turn left again and go back to the district. No, we go two more blocks down, city blocks down, um, which houses another school and what we have it that is called the Whitmore Mansion. 
So there's the whole place is probably a quarter of a mile to get around that. So she gets all the way down there and then starts turning. And I'm thinking, I'm only halfway back and I my feet are blistered. They're just blistered. I don't know what my problem is with walking quickly. My feet blister because it wasn't from the heat today. So I'm just saying. So you already saw that I didn't do so great with lunch, even though I had f over 5,000 steps at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I have almost 11,000 right now. I don't know how much I'm going to have through the rest of the evening, but this is going to be the end of my vlog. So I'm going to uh, forward. I'm going to turn this around and show you what I'm having for dinner. And do not pick on the Gina. I've had a rough day. That's all I'm going to say. Rough day. This is what I'm having. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. God bless. So I'm having a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell with no sauce. I'll have to look up the points. I didn't even pre-check. I didn't do that. And I got me a taco if I'm still hungry. That is what's for dinner. Say bye, Cooper. Bye, Cooper. Bye, little baby. You're not saying bye. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Not going to talk for them? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not going to talk for you. What happened? You mad at mama for leaving you outside all day? You are? I know. Huh. See you guys tomorrow.